In this video, we are going to discuss about general equation for variation of pressure due to gravity from point to point in a static fluid. Consider the cylindrical element of fluid having constant cross-sectional area A. The element is inclined at an angle theta with vertical axis as shown in figure. Let P1 and P2 be the pressures acting on face AB and CD. Z1, Z2 are the height of point P and Q from datum. And M is the mass of fluid element. The forces acting on fluid element are pressure force on face AB and CD given by the equation P1A and P2A acting along axis of element and normal to face AB and CD respectively. Then another is the force due to weight of fluid element W, which is equal to M into G, where M is given as rho into V, and volume is further given as area A into length of element DS. So we get W is equal to rho A DS into G. And last are the forces due to the surrounding fluid acting normal to the sides of the element perpendicular to the axis PQ. But fluid is in rest therefore they are equal and in opposite direction. Since fluid is in rest resultant of this forces in any direction equal to zero. Resolving forces along the axis PQ, we get P1A minus P2A minus rho A ds into G cos theta is equal to zero. Now suppose P1 is equal to P and P2 is equal to P plus dP because P2 is higher than P1, so pressure at P2 would have been increased by an amount equal to dP. On putting the value of P1 and P2 in above equation, we get PA minus P plus dP into A minus rho A dS into G cos theta is equal to zero. Opening the brackets in above equation, we get PA minus PA minus dP into A minus rho A dS into G cos theta is equal to zero. Simplifying the above equation, we get dP is equal to minus rho G dS cos theta. Shifting ds to the left hand side of the equation, we get dp by ds is equal to minus rho g cos theta. This is the general equation for variation of pressure due to gravity from point to point in a static fluid. In case the element is horizontal, then theta is equal to 90 degrees. So on putting the value of theta equal to 90 degrees we get minus rho g into 0 because cos 90 is equal to 0. Thus dp is equal to 0, which means that p1 is equal to p2. In case the element is vertical, then theta is equal to 0 degrees and ds is equal to dz. On putting these values in the general equation, we get dp by dz is equal to minus rho into g, which is equal to minus w. If z1 and z2 are considered from free surface of liquid, then dp by dz is equal to rho into g equal to w. Thanks for watching the video, please like, share and subscribe the channel, also do comment if you have any suggestions. Thank you.